Lawfi is something that MatPat has been teasing ever since his retirement from the channels. However, recently we've been getting more and more hints in the lead up to July 13th when it's going to be out. The most notable one being the teaser at VidCon as well as recently inside different videos. Now it may be difficult to theorise about an ARG before it's officially out, but I believe that we have enough to work with here that we can get an understanding of what it's going to be about, who the main character is, what the threat is, even pulling back the mask to reveal the true big bad of the series. But before we do that, please do subscribe. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Subscribing is the best way to help out my channel as it can notify you whenever I post. It truly means the world to me when you guys support this channel. So if you could please check to see if you are subscribed, that would be great. Thank you and back to the video. Now let's start with the first official big hint we got given at VidCon. A teaser trailer where we see a girl named Taylor sleeping with her head on the desk while listening to some music. However, it's not long until something hacks her computer and we see it start recording her. But there are some other things that catch my eye in this, one of them being the references to Remnant, something known in the Five Nights at Freddy's community as the metal that contains souls. Another thing I noticed is the newspaper tossed in the trash about a boy who has gone missing already building a good premise for an ARG. What we can assume is that whatever has caused the boy to go missing is now targeting Taylor, and if we want to look further into what the virus is, then we can look at to the more obvious hints in Game Theory's videos, specifically the recent video, Minecraft mobs were created to save us. In the video, there are times we can see the software trying to remove a virus as Tom continues with the video. But after trying to block the programs, it seems that the virus responds in blue, red and green text. Interesting. Most aren't able to catch me infecting the systems. Impressive. Perhaps you can entertain me a little more. Find me before I find you. And I think the colour of the text is meant to express the emotion being conveyed. Curiosity, factual statements and anger. The virus is supposedly watching us for entertainment, but there's a lot of sinister undertones implied with that last message. And now we can get into it. Who is behind these texts? Who hacked the system? Who is the big bad of the series? And I can safely say that from all my research, I believe the big bad of the series is the duck. Dun dun dun! Okay, let me explain. From all of the promotion we've seen for Lawfi, with split second cameos or hidden inside spectrograms, the duck has always been there. Every. Single. Time. In fact, for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna be referring to the duck as Lawfi, as it is the face of the Spotify, and I fear that I may not get this recording done if I keep having to refer to it as the duck. So why is Lawfi everywhere? It is trying to get on your screen as much as possible. It's trying to get inside your computer. It's trying to get to you. But why? Well, I think that this links back to the Spotify. And yes, there is an actual Lawfi Spotify, equipped with some of your favourite songs by some well-known artists, like Headphones On by Ryder Jacob, Music Man by Scoot Cawthorn, and In The System by The Pixel Players, and many more. All of these songs are giving an insight onto what the law is going to entail. Not only that, I think it's giving us instructions. For example, Headphones On, that's an instruction to the listener. When you start playing this song, you hear breathing before it starts. Already a difference between this one and the rest in the album tape recorder. And it's less likely it's filmed in a studio, but more in an empty echoing room. It stands out as an outlier. I think Lawfi is going to use sound to put people in their system, trapping the souls within the technology. Kind of like how Remnant works, but instead of souls being infused with metal the old fashioned way, like how good old William Afton used to do it, this time it's through sound. And I think this is more pushed through the fact that the only time we see the duck with headphones is on the Lawfi Spotify. The rest of the time, it's just a plain old looking duck. I'm likely an evil looking duck, but plain nonetheless. But then what about the body? If the theory here is that they're using sound to collect people into their system, then it would leave a physical body out in reality. Considering someone's already gone missing due to this incident, we can either assume that their physical body disappears as well, or someone out there is hiding it. Meaning it's not just some rogue AI, but an actual physical person behind this. 
kind of thankful for that, actually. I mean, AI is getting harder and harder to trust nowadays. But if this and my theory about it is correct, then I believe that Taylor is in danger. In the clip, we see that she's sleeping as Lawfi hacks into her computer, but all it ends up doing is recording her. It is observing her, which is very much still creepy and illegal. However, she's still based in reality at this point and not inside a computer or anything. But I genuinely don't believe it will stay like that for long. Just look at the songs. They're all very much tech and 8-bit game based. And the promotional picture on the Spotify page, we see another image of Taylor, but slowly being pixelated from the side, which I fear may be referring to Taylor's fate in the series. How she is going to be trapped in the system and have to find a way out, which is where I believe that the songs are going to play a pivotal part. Songs like Stay Slash Go, Get Away, The Path Home all carry connotations of a way out. It seems like some of the songs are trying to lure you in, while others are trying to keep you out. As of now, this doesn't seem to be too dark, but considering it hasn't been officially released yet and MatPat has said it's going to have a lot of darker themes for the lore, especially after comparing it to lo-fi mixed with a murder mystery, I have a feeling like this duck, or whoever is behind this duck, may be using the people it targets to help generate the lo-fi beats, which is why there's so many mixed messages in there. It's past victims trying to warn you to stay away and it may already be too late for them. So will Taylor meet the same fate? Well, the truth is we don't know. However, we can find out. I'm calling all of you guys watching this video right now to help me uncover the lore behind this ARG. If you join my Discord, we can discuss theories, codes, and secrets, coming together as a community to find out the truth. I will also be doing a live stream soon where I'll be putting together everything we know about this ARG and talking to multiple theorists that you could be a part of. The link will be in the description below. But that's all I've got for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and please do remember everything I say here is just speculation. Nothing has been confirmed and we'll have to wait until the 13th to find out more. But until then, thank you guys for watching. Shout out to- uh, what, what did I do? Um, sorry, sorry, I just, I just actually didn't let me read off the memberships last time and I really wanted to, so I, I, I wanted to do it now. Thank you, A Kit, for being a member. Rain, Rosabind, Pan, CG, Boom, Little Devil, Weather 2, Viper, Elf, Rogo, LP, German Pilot, Mouse, Mouse, Mystical, Chaos, Pilot, Exist, Ford, Anime, Stage, Moves on, Ray, Anime, Sonic, Swirl, That Local Warmer, Ivan, Anime, Kathy, Foxy, Virtual Jack, Tabrat, Nancy Black, Remy Lee, Jack F, JTP House, Ashley, Angie, Just Fear the Sim, and I Polish Cow, Sophie Supper, Fruit Bowl, That Rage Fella, It's Mel, Cutty T, Lemon, Green, Golden Creeper 4000, Toys for Fun, Alicia Melinda, Goat, MJK, Star, Q Kitty Gamer, Boss Edits, Retro Blocks, Ivan, Abadola, Angelita, jo uh, YouTube Bob, Knicks Monkey, Kaz Unlimited, Cloud, there are so many of you, Alex Britton, uh, Mr. Four, Carl Thomas, It's Packcraft, Royoto Drago, Swift, Snow Gnome, Catsico, Lulu, Passport, DL, Poopy Face, Tomato Nose, Jello Cat, Blast Cold, Tangle, Real Galaxy, Jake, Goozy, J Jane, Dragon Ninja, Ruins, Mr. Eaglesaurus, The Three Edge, Bacon, Bia Bianca, Brunky, Christy, Walmart Preston, Ugly Wizard VR, Go Getter, Galacta Gatcha Stories, Melon Lord, First Star, Athena Edits, Lux, Toasty, Liam, Vambeo, Cats, Alfie, 850, The Man in Black, Royal Hand, Jay Foxy, Ap Apok Chan, Marcel, Wiskorski, Dino Cow Drawings, Not at Bot, It's Candy Plays, Charlie Plays, Sucks Tony, E, Google Text on Siund, and Gatsby TX11. Thank you guys so much for being members. I really appreciate all of you. If only I could talk to you guys more often. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!